Hello, so I got asked um, if I could make some ceramic flooring or tiling uh, with a gap between them. Uh, so I'll uh, try to show you how to do that. Um, I'm just going to open up 3ds Max. I've already set up my HDRI lighting, um, so I only need to show you how to do the modeling. You can set up your own lighting. I'm uh, just going to create a box and make it about 18 by 18 by about one centimeter and that will give you the basic shape for the tile um, I'm then going to go and add an edit poly, edit poly modifier and I'm going to delete that bottom edge because we don't actually need it. Select all of the edges and get rid of just these bottom, the bottom ring around there. I'm then going to add a camphor to those edges and we only need a little bit to round off the tiles. That's a bit too much. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's about right. Point two two nine. Um, I'm just going to add five segments to that as well uh, to make it a rounded edge, and then add a smooth modifier and tick the auto smooth. So when we look at it, it'll be a nice smooth edge. Um, I'm then going to go into the top viewport, zoom in on this a bit, and shift drag in the Y direction, just leave a small gap and then I'm going to copy that and I'll just do 20 times and I'm going to do it as an instance so if I do want to edit the shape of this at all I only have to edit one and it will change every single other one in the scene. I'm going to press Control A to select all and uh, drag them across in the X direction the same amount and make another 20 copies um, so that gives you your basic tiled effect um, I'm then going to create a plane that goes around and this will act as the the sort of grouting between them and I'm just going to go into the left viewport and pull that up so it's almost to the top uh, just so we'll be able to see it um, <clears throat> as for the textures I'm going to press M which opens up my slate material editor as you'll see I've got my uh, V-Ray HDRI set up there um, that's connected to a dome light and the uh, environment map just to uh, give some nice reflections on these tiles and I'm just going to control A to select all of the scene and just get rid of that bottom plane and apply that this ceramic material to it um, I will uh, try and find this on vraytextures.de to put in the download in the, uh, the comments area bit at the bottom <laughs> And then I've got a, a uh, it's like a, a tarmac texture, but I've just taken away the diffuse off of that and kept the bump and made it into a light grey. And I'm just going to apply that to selection as well. And there you have it. There's our, uh, our tiles that you can use as I don't know, flooring or walls. Um, you can change them to whatever colour ceramic you want uh, by just playing with this uh, I don't know what colour you might want but that's basically it um, and just see what this looks like in VRART see it's nice and shiny and very very simple so I hope that's answered that subscribers question thank you very much